Okay guys, so you know we do a bunch of clothing related videos on this channel. I've done reviews, unboxings, clothing hauls, etc. Now today I'm going to be unboxing and taking a look at some of my latest pickups from the most requested brand that I have had on my channel. Anytime I've worn any items from this brand, I seem to get lit up with comments, whether it's on Instagram or here on YouTube. So I thought I should definitely make a video for you guys because this is what you want to see. So today we're going to be taking a look at some of my latest pickups from Represent Clothing and I'm gonna go through sizing, I'm gonna try it on, I'm gonna tell you what I really think. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so we've got a couple bags and then some other stuff that I've already unboxed uh, that is just generally speaking my latest pickup. So Represent Clothing, I don't know if you guys know this brand, but it is a brand that I really, really have been enjoying lately. And no, this video is not sponsored. However, they did actually send me over a t-shirt just as a gift. So I thought that was really cool. Um, and something pretty crazy. Uh, so this is one that I bought. This is not one that they sent me over. Look at that. It's got like all of the electric lightning kind of theme going on here from the skull. Uh, and then when you turn around to the back, it says louder than hell. So yeah, and that's in red text. So yeah, you'll see there is a theme with a lot of these t-shirts. They have a very vintage vibe to them. There is some distressing around the actual neck collar and around the sleeves where they've actually kind of, yeah, distressed it. Uh, the actual fabric feels like a vintage t-shirt. However, obviously these are not like real vintage stuff. These are new stuff. So pretty much I get larges for t-shirts, hoodies, and and I guess just anything up top, I get a large. So this t-shirt is a large and it fits me kind of perfectly. Now I have got mediums in the past and although they do kind of fit, the sleeves come up a little bit short. So I stick with a large because it seems to fit me perfectly. So yeah, this is the first pickup and definitely one I'm a huge fan of. I really like the colors on this. It's gonna go with a lot of different uh, sneakers that I have. And I think that's another cool thing about Represent. It just goes with a lot. So this one is a little bit of a toned down one. It's not as crazy as you can see. All it has is uh, this print on the front, same kind of vintage vibe to it. Like you'll see there is still a little bit of distressing around the neck area and the sleeves, still an oversized fit. The fabric feels very kind of vintage um, sizing on point. Again, I got another large. So this t-shirt just says Iron Spirit. It has a graphic again with the skulls uh, and then represent at the bottom. And one of my favorite things, which you'll see when I'm trying all of these on, one of my favorite things about represent is the way that they do their neck collars. Like it seems like a very simple thing, but their neck collars kind of come up nice and close to the neck, so there's not that collarbone action, which I really hate about some t-shirts. Um, I like them to come up and for them to be kind of, not necessarily tight, but just fit around your neck. So it actually has a really good look to the t-shirt. Again, they've nailed this one, and I really like the design on this one. Nice and a little bit more plain, uh, but yeah, let's get into the next one. All right, so this next one is actually a pretty funny graphic that it has on here. I don't know, I just got it because I think it looks pretty cool. So. Uh, another gray uh, base color for this one. A rib cage, guys. It's a little bit of a rib cage action. So again, I just personally really like the designs that they do on here. I think this one looks really, really cool. So obviously rib cage on the front. And when you flip around to the back, you get the spine, which I think is really uh, funny and it looks pretty cool as well. Uh, same sizing. I got a large again for the majority of, well, actually for all of these t-shirts, I got a uh, size large and it fits me just fine. I guess you can kind of see how it fits uh, when I'm wearing it and I'm trying it on. I think it just adds a little bit of something interesting to the t-shirt. Like people are gonna look at that and be like, whoa, what the hell is going on there? There's a rib cage and, and a spine on the back. Now, this is the one that they sent to me. They didn't actually tell me what they sent me. They just DM'd me on Instagram. We're like, yo, can we send you a, uh, a t-shirt? And like nothing was discussed. They didn't ask me to make this video or anything. Like, Literally, this is just me, someone who's really enjoying their brand. They wanted to send me an item from their full winter collection. Uh, and this is obviously a t-shirt. So let's see if they've changed anything. So I guess the first thing that they've changed is the packaging. This bag is different to the last bag. So they got the three dogs on there. 
I actually don't know what type of dog that is, but it still looks cool. And the way that they've printed this is really well done. Like it doesn't feel cheap or tacky at all. It feels really, really good. Um, but yeah, this is all over cream. Something that's again gonna go with a lot of, I guess a lot of Yeezys as well. Like I wear these with a lot of Yeezys just because of like the earthy tones go really well. Like, like look at that. That's gonna be an instant match. I think that that's gonna look really cool. So no distressing on this one, which again, maybe you don't like the distressing, which is completely fine. Thank you so much guys, Represent for uh, sending this over to me. I really, really like it. And the, yeah, the whole new fall winter collection is something that I'm definitely gonna try and grab some stuff as well. Uh, they got a lot of hoodies and stuff like that, which speaking of hoodies, let me show you one of my other latest pickups, which you guys have definitely seen me wear as well. However, I did just want to show you guys because again, you guys seem to be very interested. So a hoodie that I picked up a while ago, and I guess the first thing that you'll notice with their hoodies is it's a lot heavier. So now this is where they get into their use of a lot heavier, thicker materials. Obviously for a hoodie, you want something that is a little bit more substantial. So I went with a large as well and arguably I could probably go for a medium however I like the really oversized look um, again this is a cream color one of my favorite colors that they do they I think they call it vintage white as opposed to cream now some of my favorite things about their hoodies are the small details so let's start from the top the hood is really nice and big which is something I'm a huge fan of it feels nice when you're wearing it on your head sometimes they can really mess up a hood by making it too big and it covers your eyes or something or they can make it too small and it just feels a little bit weird and then something that I haven't really seen on a lot of other brands is the little popper that you get here so you can close this popper up and it kind of makes it a little bit tighter around the neck again which is something that I just think looks really good definitely not the only one who thinks that but kind of like closing up this area looks really good on a hoodie another thing is they make their cuffs a really nice fit so it's it's not too loose where it comes over your hand I freaking hate that it's nice and tight so that it adds like a nice little baggy area to uh, the way that your sleeves sit on your arms now these are very small details but I really really like it so you can go oversized and still have you know something that just doesn't look too big for you there's there's this fine line between it just looking like you're wearing something that's too big for you or you wearing something that's oversized and that's what I think they've really killed with their hoodies they seem like perfect perfect fit this is one I got a week back or two weeks back so this is the I don't know what the hell you call that is it a uh, it's not a Pegasus what is that those wings that kind of roll over towards the back of the sleeves and just cover the entire front of the t-shirt looks really really good this is one that has that distressing around the neck area which is also really cool and then of course around the sleeves so the little details is what they're really focusing on and I think that's uh, really what comes down to it when it separates themselves from a lot of different brands when they really focus on the details so this is a pair of shorts that I got pretty recently uh, another one that you guys have been asking me about so this is just a jersey style short I got a small in this and I think it fits pretty perfectly got about a 30 inch waist zipper pockets which again may not seem like such a big deal however the amount of times I I get into the car and then my freaking phone falls down and goes under the seat is so annoying and the elastication that they use in this waistband is really thick and substantial so these are not just dropping down these are going to be sitting on your waist quite nicely all of the sizing information should be down in the description I'll tell you all of my stats if you're interested in terms of weight height etc uh, just for reference when it comes to sizing if you want to go and grab anything from represent I'll leave a link to them down in the description because again thank you so much guys for sending me over that t-shirt again this video is not sponsored they didn't ask me to make this video I just thought it would be fun uh, to show you guys something that you have asked over and over and over for so yeah with that being said I want to wrap this video up Thank you so much for coming through, hanging out for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one, but until then.